When Lord Dalhousie entered India as the Governor General, he decided to expand through wild and lowly strategies. The kings and queens who hailed from the great lineages of the past, like the Marathas and Rajput, were fuming as gross injustice was meted out to them. Even the Indian sepoys serving the British army suffered dishonor. They were ready to explode like a volcano under stress. Thus raged a great fire of patriotism that burned to the British with its blaze. It led to a great war for Indian independence in 1857. The British invoked the doctrine of lapse and next Nagpur and Satara, the prime Maratha territories. Jansi too met the same fate in 1818. Then the ruler Gangadhar Rao was married to Lakshmi Bai. Her adopted son Damodar Rao wasn't recognized as rightful heir by the British and the Rani was commanded to vacate the palace and fort. She stayed undeterred. Give up my Jansi, let him try to take it from me. Roared the lioness Lakshmi Bai. In June 1857, Rani's army attacked the British. She took control of the fort immediately. The rulers of Akka and Datia allied with British to take over Jansi, but they were no match for the fierce Rani and were routed. Then the British cannons bombarded the fort, but they were repulsed by the Rani Lakshmi Bai's gun firing. The siege continued for 8 days with heavy firing from both the sides. Tatia Tope marched with her bringing a troop of 20,000 men. When the British countered, the Rani had to flee the fort along with the future king, a son. They were back to back battles, but the Rani lit the fuel of patriotism everywhere she went. She was aided by Jalkari Bai, the brave and wise commander of women's regiment. Jalkari Bai replaced the Rani as a lookalike in the battlefield and sacrificed her life to save the queen. Now turning our attention towards the Peshwa of the Royal Maratha Kingdom Nana Saheb in 1856 Nana Saheb sent emissaries all over Bharat to sow the seed of revolution right from Darbar of Delhi it spread to Lucknow Bengal Satara and other places he inspired with the vision of united india he personally toured various states to ascertain the readiness of the war Letters were sent to every darbar secretly warning the rulers about the hidden agenda of the British to annex their kingdom under the pretext of no heir. The British removed Nana Saheb from Pune and placed him under house arrest at Kanpur. When the British reclaimed Kanpur, Nana left. But Tatia Tope recaptured Kanpur with an army of 6000 sepoys. Meanwhile, in the British Indian army, the sepoys were ordered to use a cartridge for their guns that was greased with cows and pigs fat. one had to bite them to use them this was against the religious sentiments of hindus and muslims there emerged a leader mangal pande angered by this vulgar act of the british lieutenant bog heard the uproar of the soldiers he arrived at the spot to silence them pande instantly opened fire and struck him down the news reached the british administration and general john hearse commanded the arrest of mangal pande he was hanged in april 1857 in fact The British had to bring four hangmen from Calcutta as no one from Barakpur was willing to hang Mangal Pandey. His martyrdom sparked off the 1857 war of independence. There was a chain of revolts in Meerut, Delhi and Kanpur. The British administration never imagined that Indian sepoys were capable of such a massive rebellion. They had to pay a heavy price for their underpreparedness. Yet they quickly reorganized to crush their revolts. They sprung back and responded ruthlessly. They waged five months of continuous war and captured Delhi. The troops barbarically killed the locals. They kidnapped and killed the sons of emperors. They captured Kanpur, forced to feed the Indian sepoys with cow and pig meat, and then killed them, feeding cow flesh and pig flesh and executing them. Many rebels were tied to cannon mouth and blasted to pieces. About two thousand villagers who revolted were surrounded, and entire village was burnt. Those who tried to escape were shot dead. What was the impact of 1857 war of independence? The British were shaken and terrified. The power to rule India transferred from East India Company to the Crown of England. The Viceroy of India became the new head of the state. The white collar Indian elite educated from the premier Indian institutions run by the British were absorbed into the British Raj political system. The British cunningly divided India on the basis of caste creed using it as a tool to divide and rule. Moreover, they systematically and legally looted India to grow the British economy. The war of 1857 was not an eccentric rebellion of a few kings and the soldiers who were in power. It was a planned and a collective effort. Although it did not give the expected results, it paved the way for a future where the people of our country stood up together and fought for their independence.
जय हिंद